You want to be a confident French speaker, but you're frustrated with your lack of progress and feel like sometimes you're never going to get there. Well, in this video, we're going to go through six of my top techniques and tips that I have had to learn myself in order to become a confident, fluent French speaker as an adult. So keep on watching if that sounds like something that could help you. Allez, c'est parti. Salut French learner, if you're new to the channel, bienvenue, je m'appelle Alex and I'm an English guy and French coach living in Montpellier in the south of France. This channel is the place to be if you're an intermediate French learner looking to become a confident, fluent French speaker. Subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss a beat and head over to my Instagram page, French in Plain Sight, where I talk about the French language every single day. Ali, so my first tip for those of you wanting to become confident French speakers but wondering why your progress has stalled, why you are not becoming that francophone that you would so dearly love to become, is that you're probably not setting goals. Or if you are setting goals, they're too abstract, they're too intangible. You should be learning to set goals on a weekly, monthly basis that keep you motivated and keep you progressing constantly. If you target something vague like fluency, then you should check out my video up here that I did a few weeks ago all about that topic. But ideally, in a nutshell, it's all about making sure that what you're targeting, you actually understand. You understand what it will feel like, what it will look like when you get there. And that will keep you on it, keep you moving forward. Because without goals, you tend to go like this with your motivation and therefore your progress goes like this as well. So the first tip is to make sure you're setting goals. The more planned and organized you are around your French and what you want to achieve, progress will follow suit. Mon astuce numéro 2, my second tip for how to make sure that your speaking confidence, your speaking level is progressing regularly and consistently, is that really you need to learn to find the balance between being hard on yourself, which motivates you and pushes you forward, but also being kind to yourself, being realistic and being rational. Don't just listen to your emotions. Make sure you are reacting to things rationally and logically because when we when we um when we react purely emotionally it's not coming from a very sensible place we're often overly hard on ourselves now let me give you an example when we are making uh, when we're having conversations in french and we make a mistake or we switch to english you've got to be the one to decide for yourself whether you go into english there was something that makes sense based on your level and based on your ability to speak and based on the person you're speaking to, does it make sense that you had to go to English, you know? Or is it something that you find yourself doing too much with the same people and you feel like you let yourself down because you could continue speaking French? So be kind to yourself, learn when is the right time to be hard on yourself for not doing the right thing and when it's okay based on uh, all the other uh, variables around the situation, okay? So don't be too hard on yourself because when you do that, you develop a negative relationship with the language and we want to be constantly thinking positively because the more positive we associate ourselves with the French language, the more we're gonna wanna do it, the more we wanna do it, the more we will do it, the more we do it, the more we're gonna progress towards being confident. Astuce numéro 3, my third tip, my third piece of advice for becoming a more confident French speaker is when you're speaking, you really need to learn to let go. Let go of that fear of making mistakes. Let go of that fear of not finding your words. Let go of that fear of sounding ridiculous. Once you truly accept that, and often you only accept it through doing it and through pushing yourself more and more, but once you learn to accept it, your conversations will become more fluid. You'll learn a lot more um, uh, skills that you didn't expect to be a part of this challenge. You know, Learning French is far more than learning hundreds or thousands of words. It's also about your ability to deal with things like blockages, your ability to deal with things like mistakes. How do you feel after you make a mistake? How do you react when you're blocked? You learn all these things through speaking. Now, there's definitely techniques that you can use to get around this, and these are things that I coach to my students uh, in my capacity as a French coach, but the crux of it is once you can accept that you're going to make mistakes and you 
um, and you're going to sound a bit more childish and you're going to speak more simplistically for, for a while or a long while. Once you accept that, you'll just be able to just live with it and go on with your conversation. So let stuff go. Because when you do that, you're going to be able to have more conversations and speaking is the only way you improve your speaking. So by having more conversations, of course, your confidence is gonna go up. You're going to progress more consistently and regularly. Astuce numero quatre is that you need to be selfish. You're probably not being selfish enough in your conversations already in French. And by this, I mean, you know, don't be rude. <laughs> But if you're practicing French, you're looking to get the most out of your hour per week or your two hours per week. You've got a small window in your life, especially if uh, most of your life is spent in English. But even if you do live in a French speaking country, you want to get the most out of your practice. So when you're talking to someone, if they're a language partner, for example, or just a friend, you've got to be selfish and say to yourself, well, I want to make the most of this hour or this half an hour. So I'm going to make sure I get my French practice in no matter what. Don't forget to be selfish. Look out for yourself. And it doesn't mean be rude, but you control what you can control about the conversation in terms of the language, at least, and in terms of the themes you want to practice. And the other person can do the same for them. And usually you'll find a nice balance between the two of you. You're both adults and you can figure it out um, between you. If it's more of a casual conversation with someone you don't know very well, then I would say even more, go for it in French. And if, for example, they switch to English, you can try and get it back on track in French. That's up to you. If they insist on English, well, then you figure it out as you go. But have the first thought in your mind that from this interaction, it's going to be in French and that will serve you very well. Develop that into a habit that becomes automatic and you'll get more speaking practice in. Don't be afraid to look out for yourself because the other person is doing the same for them. My fifth tip for how to become more confident when speaking French on your journey to becoming a fluent French speaker, a fluent francophone, is to make sure you're speaking to the right people. Ask yourself, how do the people I'm speaking to most regularly in French, how do they make me feel? Not necessarily just how the people make you feel, but how does that interaction make you feel? Again, take it back to, I think, my second tip of not being too hard on yourself. Figure out whether it's you, it's whether uh, you're being too hard on yourself, you feel bad after these conversations. Uh, is that because of you or is it because of something that they do or they say, or just generally the level of conversation that they expect from you. You have to be very self-aware and very aware of your feelings and your emotional state when you're speaking French because this adds up very quickly to how you really feel about you and the language. So make sure you're speaking to the right people. By this, the right people, I mean the people who make you feel good when you speak the language, the people who make sure you feel like you have the time, like it's okay to be practicing French. If, there's, if you're speaking too often to too many people who make you feel rushed, make you feel uh, inadequate, then those aren't the right people you should be speaking to. Now, sometimes in, in your day-to-day -day life, you're gonna come across these people. That's absolutely fine. You can't control everything. You're gonna have to get through those interactions. That's just part of life. It happens in English. But just make sure that what you can control, you control. And one thing you can control is who you get most of your practice from. Now my sixth point, ma sixième uh, astuce for becoming more confident as a French speaker is not to target perfection, but to target progress. And in fact, I really wanna get this hashtag trending. I don't know if I'm cool enough to get a hashtag trending on any platform, but let's try guys. If you really believe in what I'm saying, then start the, the hashtag progrès pas Perfection. Now, I love the French version because it's three Ps, but you can also say progress, not perfection. It just, it makes so much sense because again, to tie in with my first point about setting goals, if you're targeting perfection, it's something that is too vague and in my opinion, um, unrealistic. If you're always targeting perfection, then you're gonna find yourself thinking about that in every single interaction. It's not gonna just be that you uh, are gonna build up to being perfect, which in my mind is not too unhealthy, but in every interaction that you're gonna have, if you're thinking, I need to be perfect, then you're gonna hold yourself back 
the conversation won't be fluid, it's gonna show on your face that you're uncomfortable and the other person is gonna feel that. So you need to learn, and this does take time, learn not to target perfection, learn to be okay with letting things flow, letting mistakes out of your mouth, and you can always ask people for corrections to help you uh, fine tune the bits of French that you're using. Um, so always try and improve, but don't let it get in the way of, uh, of fluidity. Getting the conversations to be fluid and to make yourself understood, se faire comprendre, which I say a lot on this channel, um, to make yourself understood is, is the, le, is the, is the premier, <laughs> le, le premier but is the first, is the first goal of the interaction. Um, and you need to be doing this because, um, some of you have the idea in your head that every time you need to speak, you need to get closer to having the perfect sentence. While it is nice to get uh, sentences more grammatically correct and that is satisfying, you have to again find the balance between the importance to you of fluidity, so keeping the conversation the interaction going because that feels awesome as well when you can speak for a longer period of time with the other person and it all stays in French uh, regardless of the little mistakes you make. So find that balance, progrès, pas perfection, Write it down in the comments if you agree with me and you wanna help me spread the word. And so a bonus tip for you guys, I know they said there was only six, but as I've gone through this, I realized there is something else I really, really want to mention. I've mentioned speaking to the right people, but you really do need to just make sure you're speaking. First and foremost, there are a lot of you out there who are waiting for that right time to start speaking, wait until you have enough words, but to tie in with the perfection point, there never will be that point. You will learn so much about yourself and about your ability to deal with crises, if you like. Maybe that's a bit of an extreme word, but it is that in your head in the moment where you feel like, oh my goodness, um, I can't say this, or I don't know how to say this. It's a mini crisis, if you like. So um, you need to learn how to deal with that. And the only way you'd learn to deal with that is actually by speaking and going through the process. So as long as you're speaking more to the right people, the stress you feel, the tension you feel over speaking will be minimized, but you do have to accept that you're gonna be uncomfortable and just speak. So to become a confident French speaker, just speak. Hey, I could have done this video in one sentence, right? <laughs> If you would like all of these tips summed up in one simple PDF, then I advise you to go down to the description below and download my free copy of How to Become a Confident French Speaker. It's my free guide for all of you guys. I do want to hear from all of you though, down in the comments, please do tell me which of these have helped you, which of these have resonated with you, which, have you, which of these have you been trying for yourself? Do let me know down in the comments as well as getting that progrès pas perfection out there on here, on Instagram, with my posts, on Facebook, wherever you wanna use it. It would be fantastic to see that get a bit of momentum. But not just for me, but for you to, the more you write something positive, the more it sticks in your mind and the more it assimilates into your system and you start thinking positively about French. All right, guys, c'est tout pour cette vidéo. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please do hit that thumbs up button down below. It really helps me out get the video in front of more people. If you don't wanna miss anything, make sure you're already subscribed and click that little bell notification icon so that you get alerted every week when I post a new video. By the time this video goes out, I think we'll be about 100 people away from the 3,000 subscriber mark. So I think I'm gonna do something special uh, for that. So look out over on my Instagram for your opportunity to contribute to the special video that I will do for that, possibly a live stream here on uh, YouTube and answer all your questions. Um, and uh, yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Merci beaucoup de m'avoir rejoint ici aujourd'hui. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck with your French, bon français. But until next time, merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé. À la prochaine. Ciao.